Hello and welcome to Autobock. Today's topic will be dynamic in the field of orthotics. And therefore, I'm really pleased to welcome my colleague Volker Schmidt. He's a CPO and a specialist for orthotics. Volker, what do we see today? Well, thank you, Heinrich. A warm welcome from my side. Um, today's topic is uh, orthotics, of course, but it's the combination of our innovative uh, Tango ankle joint. I brought this here with our other joint systems like the EMAC Active and the C-Brace, which is quite new, this kind of uh, combination. So what kind of feature do we see here? Yeah, this is a unique ankle joint system with a dynamic component here. It's called the reaction module. Mm -hmm. And you're coming from the field of prosthetics, you know how important it is, especially at the long jump or the running, the push off at the end of stance phase. Okay. So basically, you can do this with this setting here. So I brought some samples uh, where we can take a closer look. There's a dynamic spring that can be adjusted according to the patient needs, as well as the dorsal stop that I can adjust. So it's a perfect fitting in the ankle area for these type of patients. So we see some samples and we have, uh, in the run-up of this event, we cr uh, created a video. Yes, we have a nice animation video that we can uh, share with you guys. Uh, let's take a look here. So it's uh, ex well explained how the effect of the tango joint at the heel strike as well as at the toe off will be. So if you see in the video here, these are the two reaction modules. As you can see, the stop starts to work first and then it will compress the spring at the end of stance phase in that reaction module. So basically, first of all, you have to do a static alignment. So you take out the spring, put a dummy in, and with the Allen key, you can adjust it. Especially if you have a laser posture, it would be nice to do a perfect alignment here. After that, you will take out that dummy, replace it with the spring, and here you can see in this case, the reaction module is at heel strike, where how it works mm -hmm. as well. And that's really important now, especially when it comes to stance control orthosis. At the end of stance phase, you see the push off. Mm -hmm. It will release the energy and a toe off. It will help the patient to get better into swing phase. So I think well explained here. It's a nice modular system. So we saw the push off and now we see some combinations, is it right? Yes, and this is um, our EMAC Active. Yes. Uh, this is a KFO in combination. Now it's allowed to use the EMAC Active with the Tango joint. Mm -hmm. And the benefit of course, that at the end of stance phase, you do get that initiation into swing phase, which is really a big help with these combinations. What about the safety? Um, safety is always there at heel strike, the joint is locked. And if you put the reaction module in the backside, mm. you can also influence kind of like the soft touch at initial heel contact. Okay. If you take a closer look, you can see you can um, fabricate this design as a unilateral upright. Okay. They come in different sizes according to the patient's weight. Okay. So that is a really nice uh, combination. Okay. So uh, what is the next step? if if I have the EMAC and I would like to have some, some more safety or this is our highlight. This is our highlight, our well-known C-Brace, the uh, only microprocessor controlled uh, orthotic joint device. And here it really gets interesting because now with the combination with the Tango joint, we really get a really almost physiological gait. Okay. Um, as you can see here, and if you take a closer look, if you do this combination, please make sure you always use it bilateral in the ankle areas. This is one of the specification for this. Yes, you need to be aware of the fact that the forces that will be in effect, let's mm. imagine someone walking downstairs and ramps, mm. are much higher than in your regular brace. Mm. Therefore, you need to have it as a unilateral uh, double-sided uh, device here. So. Uh, on the outside, you have the reaction module. On the medial side, you could also place the reaction module, but for sure you want to have that joint as a free motion minimum. Mm. Okay. So we saw the products. Can we see some uh, patients? Can we? See? Yes, of course. We have some videos uh, okay. we can share with you guys. So okay. let's take a look. So thank you. So
So um, we have some videos uh, that we want to share and a couple of cases here we uh, want to introduce to you. The first one is Denise, a young mm -hmm. lady. She's uh, um, unfortunately, she had a back surgery okay. that caused some nerve damage. Okay. So she's an incomplete paraplegic. Talking about Denise, we talk about sea brace as well. We talk about the sea brace as well here. Okay. And she has been using the sea brace since 2019. Mm -hmm. But now this summer, when the tango joint in combination with the sea race um, was tested and approved okay. finally now, okay. um, we changed her from regular sea race to sea race with tango joint. Mm -hmm. And if we take a look uh, on the muscle testing, uh, you can see she still has uh, a good hip flexion muscle, muscle which is good, a three yeah. to four. Hip extension muscle is also quite nice. Yeah. But if you look at the foot muscles, dorsi yeah. flexures and plantar flexures are really zero or nothing. So therefore, it's an ideal candidate, not only for the sea brace, mm. but as well for the tango joint. So the tango joint uh, will help her. Yes, we can see that. We actually have a video. If we can see the video here, comparison without orthosis, with okay. orthosis. And of course, you can see the clinical picture here. She's struggling to, to get forward okay. with the sea brace. You see how it almost looks like yeah. a natural walk. So what I can see is like the walking speed is really... Walking speed uh, and also the energy level. That's yeah. what many patients will tell us. So you see from the front, uh, look at her upper body, how nice yeah. and straight she is upright and the walking speed, uh, slow walking, fast mm. walking, doesn't matter. She can, the joint is uh, adjusts to it. Mm. And the spring of the tango joint will give her that little extra push into swing yeah. phase. What I really like is the body language that she has. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. And walking upstairs, this is not always the case for mm. sea brace users. Why but, not? But remember, she still has a, a strong hip extension oh, okay. that will help her in combination again with the tango joint. So she can go step as she can show us here, step over step. Mm. But like I said, not all sea brace patients can handle it, but mm. the tango joint is a much big help uh, when it comes to this condition here. Okay. And La last, she will show us on the ramp. We have okay. a pretty steep ramp here. Oh, okay. She's really struggling. She's huh? struggling right there. So it's almost impossible without brace. But again, here you can imagine going up that ramp, how high, how steep it is. Mm. But the tango again helps her to make that step over step. So that's really possible. Yeah. And um, she enjoys it. So she's, and the gate is really clean as well. It is, the it is clean. Gate. We still say, please hold on to the handrail. That's always for safety reasons. Yeah. We recommend that. Here's another interesting case. Uh, this is Melvin. He's our typical mm -hmm. polio survivor. So he had polio when he was quite young as a mm -hmm. child. He made that journey from a lock CAFO okay. to EMAC to first sea brace. So he know how it feels uh, he knows to use he, different components. And he appreciate the benefits, of course. Okay. Uh, so she, he, he was fitted 2018 with the first sea brace. Mm. And then we, again, in this summer, we upgraded him to the tango joint. The combination. Combination. Okay. And look at his muscle uh, testing. It's a little bit different. Mm. He, for example, has no hip flexions. He has to do it with his trunk. Okay. Which of course makes the gait a little bit different, yeah. but he's doing really great. But again, look at the foot muscles. Dorsiflexion yeah. is a two. Yeah. The foot extension is just a one, so it's okay. not there. And we'll see in the video. So again, perfect for the tango. Tango joint, and he will also in the video, as we can see now, without, and he uses his uh, hand to kind of push his leg back yeah. to secure himself. That's yeah. not normally what he should mm. do. But you can see the walking speed. You can see here how yeah. fast he's going. Um, and he shows up. So he can't use his upper body to, to fulfill the gate. He, yeah. He's using his upper body to, to give him a safety. Yeah, he needs to, that power comes in his case from the upper body because his hip flexion mm -hmm. muscles are not strong there. Um, but he's doing really great. Of course, he has a little bit of side movement that mm -hmm. is due to the polio because also the abductors are affected. Walking upstairs here, that is the difference to Denise before. He has to drag his leg mm -hmm. because his hip extension is not really there, but Again, when we changed him to the tango yeah. joint, he immediately said, oh, I get that push, you yeah. know, to help me to get to the next stair. I, I think you can see the little bounce when he comes yeah. off the stairs. Exactly, that's, yeah. that's exactly what, uh, what he says. And yeah. the same, of course, applies on the uh, slope. If he does go up the slope, of course, you see his walking speed. He's Whoa, almost, okay. he's he's almost, almost running, he's eh? almost running up. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, he's an active guy. So uh, okay. it's really impressive to see that and to see the difference, you know, yeah. what a difference it makes to him. Yeah. 
Last but not least, um, uh, we want to talk about uh, another patient here. Um, that is uh, Beatrice. Uh, she unfortunately had a car accident mm. when she was a young girl. Okay. And um, she started with the EMAC Active three okay. years ago. And she's and still on the EMAC. She's still on the EMAC. It okay. could be debated if uh, she would also be perfect for Seabrace. Uh -huh. But in the meantime, she she was doing so well with the okay. uh, EMAC. So she decided, okay, no problem. I'll stick with it. So being an amputee, I can understand you, her you because see, you, you, I don't want to change often as well. Yeah. <laughs> but the change that we did is yeah. we transferred her again at the ankle area to the mm -hmm. Tango next gear. Okay. So even with the EMAC, it's a nice combination. And look at her muscle testing. Uh, like I said, it's incomplete paraplegic and sometimes it comes in different shades, but her uh, extension muscles of the knee is still mm. good, which is a big help. But again, her foot muscles, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion muscles is zero. Yeah. Not quite, but she has a strong upper body. Okay. And in the video, we can see in the video the uh, comparison here again. Um, she's using a crutch here to uh, hold on without the brace. Of course, it's almost impossible, but with the EMAC, a nice smooth gait mm. with her strong upper body. She can swing forward and the help of the tango joint. Mm. Again, here in situations like stairs and ramps, it does give her that help. So you can see the use of the both legs equally. Yes. Well, the other side is a little bit affected here. She's using an AFO, an off-the-shelf mm. AFO. Actually, it's one of our uh, walk-on reaction uh, uh, orthosis. And, but you can see here, oh, okay. um, She's dragging, she, since she does not have the hip extension, she has to walk like that, but it's a big help for her. Mm. And she also immediately, when we put her on the tango, she said, well, that's, mm. that does make a big difference here. So it's a, a huge asset here. Yeah. And last, you can see on the ramp, yeah. um, normal gait, look at her upper body. She's nice and straight, yeah. of course. Uh, and um, she uses the energy returning from the tango yeah. spring to push her up. Yeah. You can see uh, without the tango spring, you can see how she is using her healthy side to jump, but mm -hmm. uh, her affected side is really, it's not helping her without the tango, but uh, with the mm -hmm. tango, you, I can really see, she can use her power now. Yeah. And they always say also they, the distance they walk is much mm. longer with the tango joint. So okay. it will help them in their daily activities okay. to achieve more. So uh, a nice thing, but okay. It's not always as easy as it looks here. It yeah. takes some training. So physical therapy is a big part of it. Okay. So. So coming to physical therapy and I'm really pleased to welcome Tessa, uh, who's our colleague as well. And Tessa, you're in charge for the therapy. You're in charge for the people who are using those kind of orthotics. Right. Yeah, it's always nice. I can once I'm finished with the fabrication, yeah, I can switch over to my colleague Tessa in the Global Academy, and she takes over and does the really important physical therapy gait training. Absolutely. Hello. Um, for this result, uh, we have to say that patients need a lot of training before. Okay, as it's absolutely necessary mm -hmm. that patients learn how to use orthotics such as EMAC or um, the sea brace um, to, uh, before they get this result, uh, what we can see uh, on, this, uh, on the video, absolutely. So um, to have a better understanding, uh, human drives the technology and um, this is something like we can see. You do the technology, you do the training and uh, we see the dynamic now within, within the uh, field of orthotics. Uh, how did you find that working with the patients, you see the dynamic uh, when the patients can use it? Yeah, our observation during the gait training was that these characteristics of the ankle joint help patient more to approach an even more dynamic gait cycle. Mm -hmm. So this is especially supported um, by the controlled rolling movement of the foot, um, which feels softer and more harmonious for patients, um, especially when they're walking down slopes or when they're walking on uneven ground. In addition, patients feel a push moment um, doing lift their toes. Mm. So the energy return is particularly noticed when switching between stance to swing phase in order to be able to lift the foot and bring the leg 
forward more easily. So as a possible result of this, um, some patients feel it's easier to work with their torso, torso muscles and so they feel a greater upper body stability during our training. So that means like greater upper body, easier means more training, more fun? Yes, of course, absolutely, because um, it's a feel of freedom, it's a feel of more safe aspects. So, um, so like, I have the understanding that this combination uh, will give people a better quality for life. And thank you, uh, Volker, uh, thank you, Tessa, and thank you for watching. If you need more information about these systems, please contact your Autobock um, support person. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy and all the best. Bye-bye.